What if Naruto was a prodigy part five? Well, let's go. Now we're gonna skip a little bit. All right, so Naruto's gonna do his exam and it's all gonna go great. He's gonna obviously pass with flying colors and then comes the academy. In the academy, he doesn't stand out too much. He doesn't make many friends, though no one despises or dislikes him. He's the nice guy of the class. Everyone likes him, at least to some degree. Even someone like Sasuke. Well, there's a big reason. Because Sasuke didn't experience the Uchiha Massacre. That never happened. Minato is alive in this. And so, the disputes with Uchiha and the Leaf never really took off like that. Now obviously there were issues, conflict, but never any that resulted in a massacre like that. Hence the Uchiha and Konoha lived together in peace. And Sasuke is a happy young child, like the rest of his peers. And so that wasn't an issue either. Though he was very powerful, which Naruto liked. Sasuke was by far the strongest in the class, other than him, of course, or the teacher, but that doesn't really count. So he wanted to have kind of a rivalry with Sasuke, but once he got to spar with him, when they all did some sparring in the class, he saw that Sasuke was still far behind. Now, it was quite fun, but Naruto was just way too good in martial arts. He'd never gotten an actual education, but with years of trading and inventing his own style, he's much better at techniques in hand-to-hand -hand combat than Sasuke is. And along with the superior speed and all that, Naruto is simply much, much stronger. But that actually inspired Sasuke to get stronger himself and train with Itachi as well as even a little bit of Shisui. Though Shisui never really trained much. And especially not trained with other people, except maybe Itachi. He wasn't the one to take on a pupil. So perhaps Shisui would show Sasuke a move or two, but not really train him per se. And so months and months passed. When finally, a year passed. They did some exams to finish off the year. Naruto was really happy, but he felt that he was being slowed down by how the system was. Usually, it was standard to go four years in the academy. That was possible to, well, finish the academy earlier. For example, Sasuke's brother and his friend finished the academy at a much younger age than normal people. Now granted they did go to the academy earlier, at an earlier age than Naruto did, but it could still be possible, and he would try. And so he would ask if he could participate in the getting exams. And Iruko was first opposed to this. But then, whilst having an afternoon free, he thought about it. He knew Naruto was very intellectual. Book smarts were incredible and his fighting abilities were unquestionable. He was great. He was powerful, smart, fast, anything a shinobi could and should be. And so he proposed this to the Hokage. Now, for a variety of reasons, the Hokage, who is still Minato, didn't actually know about Naruto's existence. Well, okay, we'll have to backtrack a little. He knew about his existence per se. He knew there was a yellow-haired kid in Iruka's class, but he didn't know that it was the Jinshuriki of the Ninetales, his own son. Naruto was really good at hiding his chakra and never let anything slip, never said anything about his past, and never casually talked with anyone like that. And since no one talked much about Naruto except his academic feats, it wasn't known. No one was to know who Naruto really is. And so, 
neither did the Hokage. And then Iruka asked if this Naruto could do the Genin exams. But Minato was shook. Did you say Naruto? Naruto is obviously the name that he had given his own son, but he thought that it wouldn't be possible. How could he still be alive? Minato wanted to meet this Naruto himself. He never actually met him. Well, he had seen him, obviously. He saw a photo of him, but never truly talked to him face to face. Obviously, he suspected this Naruto to be his own son, but he still wanted to meet him. And so it was arranged that, still on the same day, Naruto and Minato met. But it wasn't a formal meeting. It was actually so unformal that Minato decided to get ramen with his Naruto at Ichiraku's ramen place. A place that coincidentally, Naruto and Minato both loved. And when they met there, first there was only silence. Obviously, Naruto knew that this was his father, and Minato had a suspicion, but they didn't talk on it. They ordered the food, and when the food just arrived, they started talking. Minato first started, so you want to take the Genin exams, do you? Well, yes, Naruto responded. And you're not too young for that? Minato asked. Well, I think I'm ready. And if you want to test me, go just ahead. But first, let's finish this, okay? I really love ramen. Naruto exclaimed. <laughs> There's no need to test you. I believe you, Ruka. If he says you're ready, then you're ready. But I do have some questions for you. There's no clan or surname listed on your profile, so would you like to add one? It's usually common for a shinobi to have a full name on the record, else you could be mistaken for someone else, perhaps. I mean, imagine if there was a criminal with the same name, Naruto. Then perhaps people would suspect you. No, I don't think that's necessary. Naruto continued. Naruto is a very unique name. I've never met anyone else named Naruto, so I think I'll be just fine. Have you met a shinobi called Naruto? If so, please tell me. I'd love to meet him. Perhaps he's the same as me. No, sadly I haven't, Minato said, looking down at his bowl. Well then, I don't need a surname, Naruto said. Hmm, I guess so, Naruto as Minato looked down at his bowl. But just between us two, I must ask, are you from any clan that perhaps I know of? I am the Hokage after all, so I have an extensive knowledge of different clans, abilities, and families. So, what about it? Hmm, not really. I actually never really got to meet my parents, Naruto continued. I've almost always lived alone, so... I don't know. There's not really a clan that I'm part of. I'm just Naruto. I'm just me. Hmm. Alright then, if you say so. And where did you live, exactly? Minato continued to question him, just so he could get the answer he wanted without having to ask directly. He needed to know if his son is alive. If this is his son. What if he treated his son wrongly was the biggest what-if that Minato had had in his entire life. It had been bothering him for the past years, and he just needed to know. Because if this was the Naruto, then perhaps he would be at ease. Perhaps he would have done the right thing, as Naruto seemed to be a very relaxed and wise kid. Well, at least for his age, obviously. I'm actually not sure, Naruto said to snap Minato out of his trance. I just lived in a forest nearby. 
I came here only about a year ago when I entered the academy. And, well, I did actually join the academy a little late. I believe it was two months? Something like that. I always forget. I'm bad with dates. But, yeah, I don't have much of a past. Konoha has been my life, so I'd love to continue it and become a shinobi, if that's okay with you, Hogage-sama. If you say so. Naruto, I hereby approve of you becoming a genin. Well, obviously not directly. First, you gotta actually do the exams. But after that, I'll accept it. So, tomorrow, please join the elder class to complete the assignments and tasks to formally finish your education at the Shinobi Academy. Yes! As Naruto was extremely happy and even asked if he needed to pay for the food, but Minato said it was on him, so it was fine. Then Naruto went back to his apartment. Yeah, he actually had an apartment. He was living a little similar to how he lived in the canon story. He had his own little place, but it wasn't much. He got a little money every week, and with that he was able to buy food, water, whatever he needed. And sometimes the villagers even gave him some stuff for free. Everyone loved him. He was a great guy. A great boy. A nice kid. Adults and children liked him. And that was basically one thing the whole village could agree on. He's a nice guy. And I know that sounded really corny, alright? I'm not gonna repeat that. But anyways. So the next day, he does his getting exams and all that. And he passes them with ease, actually. Much easier than any of his peers, even though they're three years older than him. Naruto did all the exams perfectly, almost. He got two points off on the written exam, but he did the shadow clone perfectly, he did a shuriken hits perfectly, 10 out of 10, and that was it. He was awarded a genin. He was a genin along with everyone else, even though they were much older than him. And so was told to come back the next day and receive his sensei, his Jonin sensei that he'd be going missions on with to rank up and perhaps become Chunin and Jonin later on. And perhaps, just maybe, become the Hokage someday. Though he wasn't sure if he wanted that himself yet. It would be a lot, a lot of work. And he wasn't a fan of work. So for now, he just wanted to be a shinobi. And now we're gonna skip ahead a little more. So basically, very briefly, Naruto got Kakashi as a sensei, Kakashi arrived late, they did the bell test, they introduced themselves obviously, and they passed. Now, Naruto had a little help from Kurama, as Kurama sensed behind Kakashi's words, there was a facade, and he sensed that there was actually a deeper meaning, and with a little back and forth, they figured it out. It was teamwork. Well, it was essential to a shinobi's work after all, so that must be it. And Naruto was able to convince his peers, even though he was much younger than them. The girl in his group believed him, and so the boy that kind of liked the girl followed as well. So they passed the Genin exams completely, including the bile test. Kakashi wonders who figured out that, you know, team power was the way to finish this exam, and they both pointed at Naruto. Naruto obviously was quite humble about it, so he actually said that the other two were the key to fermenting the strategy, as obviously he can't be a whole team himself. And so all three of them immediately liked each other. They liked being a team because obviously it was working so far, and Kakashi was gonna look forward to this. This Naruto kid, even though he was really young, seemed quite bright, and it reminded him of Itachi quite a bit, and that did remind him a lot of his past days, days as an Andu. 
and it gave him chills. But he was glad that it was all over. And obviously, Kakashi wasn't as bitter as it can. Minato was there, and so was Krishna. And that helped him a lot. And so all this was over. And now Naruto had started his journey as a Genin. And that's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I know I've been kind of inactive, but I'm gonna start doing more and more. Perhaps some Goku would have, who knows. But I'll see you next time. Peace.